Yeah, I grew up. Well, I grew up during the era of like really classic rock music, like you know, Hendrix, The Cream. The one thing that did kind of change my life was I went to go see Jimi Hendrix at Madison Square Garden. Oh man! And the opening band was a band called Cat Mother and the All Night Blues Boys. Mm-hmm. Who's Cat Mother? I'm watching him play in front of twenty thousand people. Wow. At Madison Square Garden. What a crowd. Who's cat mother? Charlie Chin. A guy named Charlie Chin. You can look up his history. He goes. That's like a superhero name. He's a superhero because he's standing there on the stage like front and center. He's got a freaking ponytail halfway down his back. I'm going, I'm in the audience and I'm going, I came here to see Hendrix, but I'm looking at this Chinese guy at Madison Square Garden. It just changed my whole Perception that of could like, be done. Right, that it could be done. Because yeah. this is Ooh. when I had just like kind of. That's thought, what I'm talking about. Yeah, these are like life changing things that happen. I'm going, I'm there, I'm going, wow, he's doing it. I also play guitar. <laughs> <laughs> but I had just like kind of was in the, you know, first years of my, my learning. But then eventually I, you know, I met him and, you know, took some lessons from him casual, no. casually. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know Charlie. We hung out. He hung out at Basement Workshop, too. Oh, my god! Oh, yeah. Gosh. He would do concerts. From seeing a guy on the stage to actually meeting him, for oh, him yeah. mentoring you. Yeah. So, that's... You got, you got angels kinda, looking for you, yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. I was really wow, lucky. Beautiful. I'm going, well, I'm in the audience, and I'm the, you know, a Chinese guy who plays guitar, and I'm looking at a guy fronting a, ba- fronting a band at Madison. I'm going, the possibility was... The seed was planted that... I'm it curious, was possible. How did 20,000 people react to seeing a Chinese Chinese man? They loved it. Uh, that band uh, toured with uh, with Jimi Hendrix. Uh, they had oh, a, man. at the time, they had this uh, single, and it was one of the rare singles that was like 15, 20, it was a whole side of an album. What, why is this <laughs> information being buried? Like, why don't enough people know about this? This is the first time I'm hearing about it. Yeah. And I'm really interested in Asian American history. Well, you know, and even stuff within, and, and and it's like, it's all, it just kind of fizzles, and no one really yeah, knows about Charlie. Shit. Yeah, Charlie's family came from Queens. We need this. Like from our flushing. parents need to. Like parents need to know this, so they yeah. when they, you know, if their kid wants to pursue them, they have to know it's possible. It is. It is. I mean, that was enough. And then uh, later on, you know, meeting a guy like Mako, this, this, and, and this e- the type and, of and stuff even that changes your life up. is yeah. to meet a meet a master, meet somebody who's already you know, like paid his dues or her dues and got to where they're going. So they're making it, they're, they're showing by example that you can do it yeah. if, if you and apply it. Just and they're sharing a, their experience with, with, with you guys. And, he's, and they're sharing their experience. They're yeah. open to experience. Oh, yeah. And Charlie was a great guy. I mean, it was uh, uh, had a great voice, mm. total command of, uh, like total relaxed command, warm he had this deep voice, you know, and and he would sing, and it would be like the whole the whole room would melt. I'm a, I'm a, I got a YouTube, oh, yeah, one, Charlie yeah. Chen. Look up his stuff. I recently <laughs> bought his album, uh, that was <laughs> this obscure album with him uh, singing on it. 